Hey y'all, Carol Norby here. You're at my Stampin' Carol Lots of Crafty Goodness page, or you're on my YouTube channel. You know, it's been a while. Yeah, it's been a long while. You know that uh, uh, last month we went on vacation with uh, friends Larry and Angie. And uh, so <laughs> I am way out of practice. But you know how I start my videos? I always say, hey y'all, I got... Let's see if you can see this. A y'all t-shirt from Fort Worth, Texas. Isn't that cool? It's got the state of Texas in the middle of the A. So I just thought I'd show that to you. When I seen it uh, while we were there, we went to the John Wayne Museum. But when I seen it, I go, oh, I just have to have it because I say y'all. So anyway, today I am trying a card that uh, uh, a couple of friends, Linda and Diane, went to Salsa in May. We didn't make it because we were still on vacation. And Linda brought me back a uh, a paper of the directions for a card called a trifold card with a twist. And I've been playing with it a little bit. And I'm, I watched Rachel's video. and I'm, <laughs> It's never easy to do a video when you're in a group of people. It, it gets really difficult. So, um, <laughs> Um, I watched it. I made the card. It's different. I think I like it. I do like it. But uh, I'm going to try to show it to you. I even watched a video that uh, was on YouTube. So we'll see how it works. I've got notes scribbled on her notes. And, <laughs> and I'll share the, uh, the this card tomorrow on my uh, stampincarol.com website and um, with measurements as best I can remember with my scribbles. So anyway, we'll get started. Hang on, here we go. Over there. Okay. So try to get this organized here. So here's my card. You would never know at this point what's going on. But they showed using a ribbon to open it. Now watch this. I grab the two corners, and there it is. Isn't that cool? I keep hitting my brace for my camera. So this is the card. I'm going to try to show it to you. So I'll set this aside, and we'll start. So I have cut and scored two pieces of cardstock. These are 4 inches by 10 and a quarter. And then I scored five and a half on each one. So they're going to go together like this. Just like this. There's some tricky spots here. Um, so you have to be real careful. So to make the corners, I'm going to come in. i got to grab my, my ruler. I don't want to hit anything here. So this one, as I look at the card, <laughs> as I look at the card, I'm going to separate these for a moment. I'm going to come over four inches. Can you see what I'm doing? I hope you can see what I'm doing. Grab my pencil. And I'm going to score this one. I'm going to mark it at four. Make sure I get it here. Mark this in at four. And I, so I'm doing the bottom corner. And this one I'm going to mark four at the top. So i got to stand up to see what I'm doing going to mark right here. Now, what you're going to do, you're going to score from this point to this corner, and from this point to that mark. So I will grab my paper trimmer. Some of this I just could not do in advance because the explanation for you would have been kind of difficult. So I am over here. I'll move this. I've got this. So I'm scoring from here to this mark. So I'm going to get that on my score, my my groove. Get this mark right where it needs to be, and I'm going to score. So there's that one. I'm going to do the same for this. Got that one there, and that one there. Okay. I hope I do this right. Like I said, I am really rusty. <laughs> really rusty. So I'm going to score, fold this one back, get it nice and even there, get it burnished well. 
same with this one. I'm going to actually I should be folding it the other direction. You never fold this direction on a score. It's the wrong way. So I'm going to get that one on there. Okay, then what you want to do, you got to put these together. But you want to do it when you put them together. See how there's a gap? You may need to trim. So I'm going to trim this corner um, to make it fit. So that is about how far off? About a quarter of an inch. So I'm going to score. I'm going to take a quarter inch off this end here. So we'll get that and we'll see if it'll fit. You want it to fit rather snug. You can always adjust uh, this back piece later. So I'm going to measure them together. Okay, we're pretty good. That'll fit. So I know I'm going to be cutting this off, and I will do that soon. I'll probably just use my scissors. So I'm going to add some glue here. I hope you all are having a good day. It's we have so much heat. It is so hot. Our air conditioner turned on at 5.30 this morning. Yep, 5.30. I have been doing laundry today. I put them out on the clothesline, and I'll tell you, everything's drying very, very fast. So I'm going to set this on here, but I want to make sure that I get it together. Still just a little off, but there we go. It's finally coming together. Make sure everything's even. There we go. So I've got these pretty much together. Looks good, don't you think? Looks good. So I'll let that set up a moment. Make sure I'm going to take my, my big scissors and just trim that down. Okay, so there's that. So that's the base of your card. Now, um, what I did, I cut, I was going to do this a different way. I cut a piece three and seven eighths to fit here. But I, I did not like the looks of that one this time. So this is three and three quarters square. And I'm going to cut on the diagonal. Now when you cut the square, after you make the square, you got to make sure you cut it the right direction. You don't want it to go this corner to this corner. It won't work. you got to watch what you've got going here. So I've got to cut from this corner to the opposite corner. So I'm going to set that here. Get my trimmer back out. And put it on here. Now when you use a paper trimmer like this, Okay, I'm pretty much right there. Get that out of the way again for the moment. You can't just shove it up here. you got to start inside, and then you can go corner to corner. If you try to come up from the corners or down, you're going to wrinkle your paper really bad. It just does not work, no matter how sharp your blade. So I'm going to adhere these onto here. So I'll get my glue out again. I'm using my Journey Craft glue. I got to get an order in. I'm getting a little low on a few of my essentials. Have you tried the uh, Barely Art glue from Fun St from Spellbinders? I absolutely love mine, and I'm probably going to have to order some more. It is just so good. So I'm going to leave. Make sure that I have little gap. I'm getting glue off my paper. Ah, I didn't want that to happen. I will be covering that. So, and I'll get this one on. Get glue on my fingers. And then it goes everywhere. <laughs> so, anyway. Okay. I'll get this one ready to go. So, I'll get this one on. Got to stand up to see what I'm doing. Can't see. Sitting down. Okay. So I like that. Okay, so another thing you can do, if you like the plain, the plain card stock on the, the backs, that's fine. If not, 
I have cut a piece of cardstock. This is three and seven eighths by five and one eighth. Now it gets a little tricky here because you've got a gap. I'm going to come down five eighths of an inch. So we'll we'll show you this. I'm I marked it. There's the five eighths inch mark there, and here's a five eighths inch mark here. Those are important marks, and I made sure that they will fit by placing this here. I'm going to cut from this corner to this corner. So get that out of the way. Grab my trimmer again, and again, be careful. You don't want to. You got to be. Uh, you got to really watch what you're doing. It's very easy to make a mistake. So I know I've got that one there and that one there. There we go. That's what I needed. And this will fit in here. And this one will fit down here. Isn't that cool? So that you can you can decorate your background. So I will get my glue on here real quick. See if I can not get it all over my fingers. <laughs> Uh, I feel so discombobulated. <laughs> oh, gosh. Now, next Wednesday, I will not be doing a video because I have a class next Friday, and Friday after class, I will be doing a video of the class projects. And there was something going on next Wednesday for the life of me. Right now, I can't think of what it is. Maybe I'm just imagining it with all the appointments that we've had this week. Just, okay, so there we go. There's that one. Now this paper is some that I bought when I was at retreat last February. It's a coffee theme, and it is, oh, who's it by? It's by Echo Park. So um, I used it. While I was at retreat, made some fun coffee cards, and I'm using it again today because I I got so much paper. Are you like me? <laughs> You're just paper poor. But then you go to use something, you go, I never have the right paper. Yeah, I know how that works. Okay, make a mess here. So we'll get this one on. So anyway. Okay. That's good. Get my, yep, got glue on my fingers. <laughs> I don't want glue on here. Try to get that rubbed down. Okay, so there's the card. So then you go, okay, I need a cover. So I thought this would look good, but the card won't stay close. So what I will do, I took a, this is a 20 inch length of some fun, um, ribbon. A friend of mine gave me a bunch of ribbon. So I'm going to oh, I get everything stuck on my fingers. Yeah. Put a piece of tape. And let's see. Roughly halfway down would be if this is two inches. I know that I need to have it. Okay. Let's just go right here. Okay. I'm going to fold this in half. I was prepping this morning and I was watching a movie. I have a, a Roku here in my craft room. I do not have cable TV or satellite TV here in my craft room. Got my Roku. And I've been watching uh, some a really cool movie. Okay, do you see that? I'm going to go right over the top of that. You don't want to put it anywhere else because it still has to open. But at this point, I can take my focal point. Uh, darn, I got... And I'm going to pop it so I know I'm going to go from corner to corner. So I know that marking this here, I'm going to do this corner here. So I'm going to add... Let's see add some uh, foam tape. I get my foam, I buy it one inch wide rolls. I get it from scrapbook.com. This is like $13 for this one inch foam adhesive roll. And I cut it to what I need. I don't have to, 
I can make it big, small, long, short, whatever I want. So that's, I like that. So I'm going to go from corner to corner, kind of like that. And here, that'll do. So I'll put this on. So make sure it's all stuck down. What I would recommend is, for your first time trying this card, just use papers you're not too crazy about and see how, so you can get your practice in. So I'm going to stick this. Trying to make sure I'm even. There. Right there. So there's. So now it opens up and you go, I need something here. So I cut this piece of paper. Oh, what size was this? I can't remember. This is four inch by five and five eighths. Five and three eighths. Is that four inch? That's no, that's three and set three and seven eighths by five and three eighths. And it's gonna glue right there. So I'll get this on. I'm just gonna use my I don't need to be getting tape all her glue all over everything. Now this card will probably be my swap card for salsa, since this is the fancy fold swap card that we need. I'm going to just get this in here, right there, and it all, uh, it's a little off, okay, I'm not stuck down real hard. I'm going to come and take a little bit off this edge. That is what's nice about this. You can come back in and take off what what you need. I should. The problem is when you're playing on darker cardstock, it's really hard to see what you're doing. Let's try this again. A little bit better. Okay. See what yeah it fits there we go wonderful and there's the card so you just close it up you can tie it closed and there it is what do you think of that isn't that different so anyway I'll flip you back over here okay so anyway it is hot already. Our air conditioner turned on at 5.30 this morning. We have it set at 82 degrees. That is warm. But on a budget, I have to watch how much money we spend. So I can deal with this. I drink a lot of ice water. <laughs> drink a lot of ice water. So anyway, I hope you guys aren't too warm. I hope um, you're getting some, some calmer weather than this. We did get a storm last night. It rained for about not quite 20 minutes. My rain gauges showed nothing. It must have evaporated upon impact. <laughs> it was so hot. But it did drop the temperature 15 degrees, believe it or not. Um, when the rain was done, I looked at our thermometer. It said 93. It was 110 when it started. So uh, 17 degrees. So anyway, give this a try. Let me know if you try it. I will be uh, saving this video and putting it on YouTube. I will have measurements and such as I can on my blog, stampincarol.com, tomorrow. So give it a try. We'll catch you later. Y'all have a wonderful and blessed day. Bye-bye.